You say you need a time, I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way out And though I understand it's hard sometimes to make up your mind To another vlog you guys today's vlog is especially fun for me because it's in collaboration with my girls from Real Housewives of YouTube if you guys are new to this channel and you don't even know what Real Housewives Real Housewives of YouTube is basically it's me and three of my girls Yesenia Tiff and Cleosha in January of this year we decided to start collabing once a month and one of Yesenia's initially, I think she's a subscriber of all of us now, but initially she was a subscriber of Yesenia, I believe. And she told us that we should call ourselves Real Housewives of YouTube. So we love that name. It's stuck. And so for, so this is the 10th episode. This is the 10th episode of Real Housewives of YouTube. And every month we've been loving putting these out for you guys. So we know that you guys love them and that is very much appreciated. Anyways, so if you're not following them, Yesenia, Tiff, or Cleosha, make sure you head over to their channels. I'll have everybody's channels linked down below in the description box. Also, you'll see two different links for Tiff and Cleosha, and that's because they have a vlogging channel as well as a cleaning channel just like myself. Senia used to have a cleaning channel. Senia. <laughs> but um, anyway, she only has a vlogging channel right now. But you'll absolutely love all of them. I feel like we're all different, but we have similarities as well. So if you guys have been following me for the past few months, then you have seen me collab with Dossier many times at this point. And that's just because I genuinely like the company. So if you don't know what Dossier is, it's a company that produces luxury high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price. So you can get all of their fragrances for $39 each. And if you guys are like perfume or cologne connoisseurs, then you guys know that high-end fragrances can range anywhere from 50, maybe up into like seven, 800, 900. I have seen some, just recently, I have seen some crazy prices on these high-end fragrances. Anyway, so I'm excited because if you haven't been following me, you guys, I'm not like a fragrance person. I'm kind of nervous about them because I only like a few different scents. I'm very picky. So collabing with Dossier has helped me to kind of expand my collection. So every month they have been sending me three fragrances to try out to see if I like. Now what I do is you guys, I usually get these uh, fragrances, I'll have them like two weeks prior, but because I wanna give you guys my genuine natural reaction, I do not smell them until I cut this camera on. So I have three right here that I have not smelled and I'm gonna smell on camera. So this first one is inspired by, and I hope I pronounced this correctly, by Killian or Killian, Love Don't Be Shy. The top notes are marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. Middle notes, orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, orris, and the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. So this is what it looks like. I get super nervous when I see dark colored perfume because I typically do not like them because they're too strong for me. So we'll see. It does smell, I, I'm, I'm just picking up on vanilla and I have like, I like vanilla, but I can't smell it for too long. That's how I feel about vanilla. This smells good though. It's like a sweet vanilla. Anyway, so on here it's called Floral Marshmallow, but like I said, it's inspired by Killian. I'm going to spray it on the card because that's what I like to do. So let's see what it smells like. Hmm. That smells good. I don't know, if you like vanilla, this you'll definitely like this one. The second one is Fruity Brown Sugar. It's inspired by YSL, which I like YSL perfumes, but a lot of them are actually a little overbearing for me. But once again, I'm super picky, you guys. I didn't mention that if you buy the Dossier perfumes and you don't like them, you can get fully refunded. You can send the perfume back and get fully refunded. So that is another perk. So it's Fruity Brown Sugar. The top notes are Bergamot, Raspberry, Pear, Middle notes, jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, base notes, patchouli. I know I probably butchered that and I'm sorry. Amber and vanilla. So we're going to spray this. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, that smells good. You guys, my husband is behind me right here. He's working 
on one of his videos. Smell that. Do you like that? He, you know what? I'm going to ask him because he has to smell it on me. I like this. Yeah, it smells good. Like if you don't spray too much on. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Yeah, that's another thing. These are inspired by high-end fragrances, so clearly it's not like a, a body spray where you have to spray multiple times. You spray this once, maybe twice, and you're good to go. Okay, the last one is Powdery Hawthorne, and it is inspired by Tom Ford. Let's see. Top notes are Neroli, Orange Blossom, Middle Notes, Hawthorne, Heliotrope, or Heliotrope Flower, Base, base Notes, Vanilla, Ambre, Peru, Balsam. So we're going to spray this. Hmm. Mm. I don't like it. No, this one's not for me. But that is okay, because like I said, had I purchased these, which I did not, these were sent to me, but had I purchased these, I could send this back and get my money back. So Dossier has a 20% off their welcome offer. It's on their website. I will have them linked down below. Be sure to use my code SHANTI5 for an extra 5% off. Thank you again, Dossier, for collabing with me on today's video. Hey everybody, so it's Wednesday morning. I'm about to throw my dinner in the crock pot because I just, you guys, I love crock pot meals. I really do. I do not use my crock pot nearly enough but when i'm just not feeling like cooking this comes in clutch okay so we're just gonna throw some chicken potatoes and green beans in here and i've had quite a few of you ask me to season the chicken or season my meat on camera because a lot of times when i come to you guys i've already seasoned it so because i don't measure you guys want to kind of see i guess eyeball how much seasoning i put so that's what i'm gonna do i've already cleaned my chicken so i just had some chicken tenderloins this is what I had in the freezer, so I had thought that out last night. Actually, no, two nights ago, y'all. So that's why I have to hurry up and cook this chicken because it's been thawing for two days. But you could also use chicken thighs. I'm pretty sure you can make this recipe with pork for those of you guys who eat pork. Um, it's very simple. But anyways, these are the seasonings that we're going to be using to season the chicken. Okay, so we're first going to go in with the Lari's. Now, you guys, for those of you guys that have been following me, you already know that my hands are clean, okay? They're going to add a little garlic powder. Hey, bet. Some paprika. Black pepper. And a little bit of the adobo seasoning. So you guys know my hands are clean, okay? I don't hear anybody tell me, oh, she used her hands in her own kitchen. Yep, I use my hands. Come kill this gnat, please. There's a gnat over here. Dang. I'm on here on this apple. Thank you. So all the seasoning is evenly covered. I'm going to wash my hands before we move further. Can you call them and verify? Because you know how it was last time. Thank you. Okay, guys. My husband just got here with the potatoes and the, the green beans that I need for this recipe. You guys, I absolutely love this crock pot. Um, it's a hearth and hand crock pot. Ooh. It's a hearth and hand crock pot. It's nothing like special about it. I just love that it's white. Anyways, we're going to put... We're going to put our chicken at the bottom. So just make sure the chicken is evenly at the bottom. That'll do. And now we're going to chop up or slice our onions. I need to get something for this cutting board so it can stop looking so ashy like this. 
I know that there is like cutting boy, cutting, no, what is it called? There's either wood oil or cutting board, how come I can't say that? Cutting board oil. Anyways, there's something I need, so I just want to look all ashy and ghetto like this. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and slice this onion. Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and add the onion all right on top of the chicken. Alright, and just let me get my my potatoes washed up and then I'll come back and we'll slice them up. So now we're going to add some Lipton onion. I'm going to add one packet right on top of the onions and the chicken. That's my butter that's warming up. We're going to also need some melted butter. And then I'm going to take these potatoes and just put them on one side. All right, and then we're gonna take our green beans, and these are fresh green beans, which are the best in my opinion. And we're gonna put them on this side. This is a 12 ounce bag. And then you're gonna take one more package of Lipton and onion, and you're just gonna put it right across the top. Oh. You're just going to add it right across the top of the green beans and the potatoes. And then you're going to take that stick of melted butter. You guys, this already smells so good. And just put it right across the top. And then I'm going to cover it and I think cook it for about six hours. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. How about that? So I set it for six hours on high and um, you guys, who else? Let me clean up this mess now. Who else loves making crock pot meals? Because for one, they're super easy. You just dump everything in the crock pot. But for two, they make the house smell so good. And, and it seems like you've been slaving all day in the kitchen. That's what it smells like. So once this gets good and going, it's going to smell so good in here. But yep, that is it. So I'll come back and let you guys see how it turns out. All right, guys. It's been about, I don't know, maybe like four and a half, five hours. The kids are home from school. So we're going to check on dinner. It looks done. Then I'm gonna uh, put the top back on it and let it continue to cook a little bit just while the rice is cooking. Because my, <clears throat> my kids love rice with everything. But as soon as it's done, I'll plate it and show you guys what it looks like, like I said before. Sure we had fun tonight. You and me felt all right. It's time, but it's time you pick up your phone. Mm -hmm. You won't be worth my while. Me and you won't work out. Pick it up. You guys, we're doing the kids' homework right now. It says 10 more than 10 more. Oh. Yeah, and then everything else stays oh. the same. Oh, so you have like 400. Mm hmm. Look. Four and then you cross off one. Uh -huh. Subscribe. 
and then you have three left. Mm -hmm. And then you have two tens. I mean, yeah, two tens. Mm -hmm. And then you two. That's it. Just keep everything else the same. So it's 325. And you get five, four. Five ones, one, four, five, mm -hmm. and your answer is... So now count the two tens up in the five ones. Ten, twenty, five, right? And that's your, that's in total. Three hundred twenty-five, that's right. See, your mom, I did pay attention in class. Okay, good job. Our baby. mom is um, in her pajamas. That's why she's not showing herself right, Mom. Do you really giving all the information? Yes, I'm in my pajamas, you guys. I took my shower, and I'm not showing myself because uh, I don't have a bra on. I mean, anything else you want to say, son? Um, yes. And um, her hair is a little messed up. Oh. Um, she has a tattoo next to her, her boob. Um... <laughs> She's very smart and intelligent. Oh. She has hair. She has size. She has a good smile. <laughs> and she, her glasses make her look like my mommy. Mommy, I'm I need to bring my glasses to school. Than her. Oh, thank you, Jane. You yeah. need to bring your, you didn't bring your glasses to school. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you gotta bring them to school, Mama. Does she have glasses? You know she has glasses. Blank. Well, I'm Oh wait. Shh, 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 shh. Blank more that 549 is. Let me see. Bla okay. Blank sh Junior. Hey everybody, so it's Friday. I just went to pop on here and start the vlog off. I'm about to head out to Target. You guys, I have so much to get. Just, I need to restock like our cleaning supplies and hygiene supplies, stuff like that. And then tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make chicken tacos. I have my shrimp thawing out right now. But yeah, that's all I have going on for right now. I'll pick up the camera when I'm making the tacos later on, just so I can show you guys how I, can, I make my shrimp tacos for anybody who is interested. All right, guys, it's a little later. I just went ahead and got the kids pizza because I know that they're not gonna eat the, <laughs> oh my gosh. I know that they're not gonna eat the, um... I can't even think because my husband's came over and slapped my butt, but I know that I'm gonna eat the shrimp tacos that I make, so there's pizza. And this Italian cheese bread, but I got this for my husband. He he's the only who really likes this. I think him and Soraya. Okay, I just wanted to share with you guys this little five below haul. I purchased these items online. Soraya, you guys know she's my 18 year old. She's been in love with Hello Kitty since since she was a little girl. But she's seen a TikTok where Five Below had all this Hello Kitty stuff, and our Hell our not our Hello Kitty, <laughs> our Five Below didn't have the stuff in the stores. So I went online and I was able to get her some things. So she got this water bottle, which is really cute. It's better quality than I thought. And then some plush danglers. So I guess maybe like I don't know. There are these characters. I don't know if they like to hang in a car, which she doesn't have. I don't know, child. Those little mini figures. And, and then this notebook, which is super cute. And she likes to journal, so. And she wants to get back into it. So, anyways, those things were for Soraya. This stuff was just random stuff, you guys. But it's mainly for Soraya and Khaleesi. I didn't intentionally do it like that, but that's just how it happened. Khaleesi is really into, like, fidget toys right now. So, all of this, like, sensory stuff. Let me know if your kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids are into this stuff. Um... If they are, I suggest you go on the Five Below website because they have a whole lot of stuff. They have a whole lot of stuff. So I just picked her this up and then this like little ghost for Halloween. This is cute. I like this stuff too. I don't know. It's just like comforting. I don't know. And then this is a game, but it's a sensory maze. So I got one for her and then I got one for Junior. Junior likes this stuff, but not as much as Khaleesi. And then there's this jumble crystal ball. Here are some more of the squishy squishies so she's, she's upstairs taking a bath right now but i know she's gonna love all this stuff and then you guys look this little decorative wood bowl it was only five dollars so i thought it would look cute on one of my shelves see, see? you go like that and it pushes it along get oh, it oh yeah now we get it i got it everybody so i'm just waiting on my husband we're about to leave for date night it is a very 
like gloomy day so we're just wearing sweatshirts i showed you guys this sweatshirt a few vlogs ago but i'll show you right here in the full mirror in a second i have some clothes hang drying in the back but anyways i didn't cook those shrimp tacos last night you guys i was so tired like be dead tired and like i said we're about to go out for date night right now so i'll probably just save them and make them tomorrow not probably i have to because i don't want the shrimp to go bad but let me show you guys the back of my front door because my husband painted it black for me so he's still working on it he has to do another coat but this is what it looks like so far it looks really nice of course you guys already know he does a good job all the time and then this is the sweatshirt that i was telling you guys where it has like the cold shoulder on one side and then i'm just wearing some leggings and a pair of my coat shoes hi handsome hi, <laughs> you guys look at all that laundry i have to fold you ready because i've been waiting literally the only time in life i've probably ever waited on him let's go we have the same shoes you guys oh where's my purse All right, guys, we made it back home. We are going to end the night with drinking some Stella Rosa. This is in the flavor Tropical Mango. I've never tasted Stella Rosa I don't like, so they're all good to me. Um, yeah, pineapple's good, too. It doesn't really have, like, a strong pineapple. I don't know it's good. He asked me that because I don't like pineapple, you guys, typically. But I'm so tired. Anyways, I will pick the camera up again tomorrow. I'm about to make these shrimp tacos finally. I've already cleaned season and deveined my shrimp you guys I can't stand deveining shrimp. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I get the frozen Where did I put that back? Oh, I threw it away. Anyways, I get the frozen raw shrimp and it says it's deveined and every single time I'm like Devein where because I have to clean it every single time. These are all the seasonings that I used This is what the shrimp is looking like I've already diced the cilantro. Now I just have to cut the onion and the, what's this called? The, the onion and the tomato. You guys, I need to get myself some more um, kitchen lotion because as many times as I have to wash my hands, my hands are so dry. It's just, so if I get on the camera right now, my hands are ashy. Don't you say nothing, mind your business. I'm also have to make chicken alfredo because Junior is not touching a taco, let alone a shrimp taco. It's not happening. Junior eats like 12 items, period. He eats french fries, pasta, rice, corn dogs, hot dogs. He's not huge on meat though. So he just started eating corn dogs and hot dogs. He'll barely, he barely eats chicken. He eats broccoli, green beans. Did I already say that? I'm tired. <clears throat> he eats pink lady apples. And don't you try, don't you do it. Don't you try to give him nothing else. He might settle for a gala apple, but that's going to be that. Okay. Um, he'll eat watermelon and purple grapes. Don't you try to slip in a green grape because he is not doing it. He doesn't eat yogurt. He doesn't eat jello. He don't eat peanuts. He don't eat chocolate. He, he's just not having it. Okay. You're the only one I think about it. You guys and I'm still loving these caraway pots and pans 
absolutely love them. And then we're gonna add the veggies, but I'm not using up all the veggies because I still need some of the veggies. So when I make my guacamole, I could um, use some of this. It's amazing how you rock the world. You're the only one for me. Never thought that I would beat you, girl. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You're the one I'm thinking. We'll just let all the veggies cook together for a couple of minutes. Okay, a little bit more oil. And then we're gonna add our shrimp. Don't forget that shrimp cooks very quickly, you guys, so you only need to cook it for just a couple minutes. All right, you guys, the shrimp tacos are done. And yes, we eat cheese in our shrimp tacos because we eat cheese and everything. But the sauce that I made, this is basically just mayo, lime, hot sauce, and cream. Yeah, mayo, lime, hot sauce, cream. That's how you make this sauce. You guys, I'm starving, so I just I was going to show y'all, but I'm hungry. It's my husband's plate. This is how it turned out. All right, you guys, so I just actually finished filming the dossier collab that you've seen at the beginning of this vlog, but I want to kind of explain the next few clips that you're going to see because I didn't, I didn't explain them, you guys. I just started filming, okay? And I didn't really do any talking. First of all, if you guys are not following my husband on his vlog channel, he's back there editing, be sure to follow him. I'll have his link down below in the description box, especially for all of you guys that have husbands, boyfriends, booze, whatever, that like low riding because that's what he does. Anyway. So for today is Sunday, but we have been going nonstop, you guys. Thursday, my best friend and I, we were out all day long, just we went to the nail shop to get our nails done. So I have like a little clip. I think I have a little clip in there. I don't even know. We got our eyebrows down. We went to Ulta. Anyways, we so I was gone all day Thursday. Friday, Michelle, Keitha, and Nicole, we went shopping and went to lunch. Now, you guys, we're going to pause right there because Keitha, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys have seen my friend Keitha many times. She wanted to go to this restaurant that she goes to, Javier's, that I've never been to. Shell's been there before. Nicole has been there before. Nicole and Keitha go there together. And Shell just, you know, she's been there a few times with her uncle. Anyway, that's all unnecessary. The point is, you guys, so I said, okay, I've been wanting to go to Javier's, but I, I didn't I don't mind spending money, you guys. I really don't. But when I looked up the menu, just to see what the menu was, I wasn't even looking for the cost. I noticed that the, the enchiladas just by itself was $44. $44. Now, I'm thinking in my head, like, I can make a pan for $44. You want me to pay a plate for one plate of enchiladas, $44? So I was just like, mm, I don't know about this. And then when they told me the drinks are like $20, $22, um, I think the guacamole and it's only like a little small thing that's like $17 so so I'm doing these numbers in my head so I'm like so $100 basically per person and don't let you have like multiple drinks that can easily add up to $150 per person you know so I'm sitting here like and I'm just like okay I'd rather spend money I don't mind spending money but I like spending money on like home decor body stuff you know things like that I don't I don't know Food, I, I guess I just don't, I guess my husband don't be taking me to enough high-end restaurants. He didn't hear me. Did you hear me? No. <laughs> Anyways. Huh? He does. He does take me to some high-end restaurants. He, he takes me anywhere I ask I want to go. But anyways, so I'm like, are these enchiladas, like, are the tortillas dipped in gold? Like, what, you know, what qualifies them to be $44? Like, it's some cheese and some meat. Uh, you know, I just, in my head, I was just like, okay. So we get there, and I'm very much like an ambiance person. So if the scenery is right, I, I love it. The scenery is absolutely beautiful, especially at the location we went to. Because they told me that the other Javier's are not 
like as beautiful as that location but anyways so we get there I'm like okay it's, it's beautiful I love how it looks and you guys it was worth it long story short it was worth it so I just wanted to tell you guys that so like I said because I didn't like break anything down and I didn't talk during these next few clips so just know when you see that plate of enchiladas it may not look like it's worth $44, but I promise you it is. So it was three enchiladas, one of them, it was a trio. One of them was crab, the other was shrimp, and the other one was lobster. And I'm not a huge fan of crab or lobster. I'm not huge on seafood. I love shrimp, absolutely love shrimp, you guys know that. I like certain types of fish. But anyways, and I do like crab because I eat them in the California rolls, but I'm just not like a huge fan of crab. You will never suddenly eat like a crab leg. I've never even had a crab leg in, a crab leg in my life. But anyways, my point is, it may not look, because honestly it doesn't look like it would even really kind of be, it doesn't look like how it tastes. It just doesn't. I will go back there anytime. I can't wait for my husband and I to go. I was telling Keitha that her and her husband and um, me and Jay, we all need to go. Nicole and her husband, we, we just all need to go. My friend Michelle and her, everybody. Everybody needs to go, whoever wants to go, but we all need to go back there for date night. Anyways, so so we did that and we also went to this home decor store called Goodies. We have been wanting to go there. It was okay. It was just a very little small place. We stopped at Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, and Williams Sonoma, all of my favorite places. I, I bought a couple things. We all bought a couple things. We didn't nobody like went overboard or anything. But all in all, it was a very good day. And then the next day, which was yesterday, we went to our friend's Halloween party. Reggie and Sheree are part of the my husband's car club. And so they had the car club meeting there and they had a Halloween party after. And I you guys I did not vlog because I was so busy helping Sheree in the kitchen and stuff that I didn't even really get a chance to vlog. So I only have a little bit of footage from there, but they did an amazing job and everything was fun. It's Sunday, I'm tired. That, I don't even know I've showed you guys, I don't know if I showed you the mountain of clothes in the last vlog, or if I showed you in this vlog, I don't even know. But I have a mountain of clothes on my couch that need to be folded the size of a human being. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'll be doing that for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoy these next few clips. Hey you guys, so I'm back home. I want to give you this haul. It's an Amazon haul, Ulta and Walmart. I didn't vlog while I was out, but I went to get my nails done, went to Ulta. Where else did we go? Got our eyebrows done. It was me and my best friend. Nevertheless, um, oh, let me show you my nails. First of all, this is how my nails came out. I don't know if you can, if it's picking up on camera, but that's how my nails came out. I'm making some rice in the rice cooker, so excuse that. So we're going to start with the star of the show right here. My best friend bought this for me. This is a Marc Jacobs bag. I've been wanting this tote. This is the small one. So if you guys are looking at like if you're going to get the small one or the large one, this is the small one, which is not really small. <laughs> it's a good size. I just like this one because it has the strap inside so you can wear it as a crossbody. And that's what this side looks like. Just absolutely gorgeous. I've been wanting one of these bags and she just bought it for me for no reason. She's so sweet. Like, so sweet. Made my whole day. Okay, so she got me that. And then when I came home, I had my little Walmart delivery. All I got was this warmer. And then I picked up some more of my favorite wax melts. I've been using these for years. This is the Better Home and Gardens Line Dry Linen. This is what the wax warmer looks like. I think I had sent this to Senya to get. I'm not sure if she got it, though. I can't remember... I can't remember if she bought this one. Nevertheless, when I see it now, because this is what it, it kind of has like that iridescent look. Um, I don't know if it's going to match anywhere in my house. Like, I feel like the only rooms that it would go well in is either maybe my office, which I already have one in there, or Lisey's room. So I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping this or not, even though it's very pretty. From Ulta, I got three more scrubs. I got Lisey this cotton candy because, you guys, Lisey has to get every single thing that I get because I can't come in the house with anything of my own because she's going to take it over so I just go ahead and buy her her own stuff but this cotton candy if you guys haven't smelled this I love getting her this one and I only have I only ever see it at Ulta and then watermelon this is my I don't yeah this is one of my favorite ones and then pineapple smells so good they actually all smell really good but I love getting these tree hut sugar scrubs from Ulta because I feel like they have a more of a variety than Target has I got some watermelon scented hand sanitizer 
If you've been following me for a long time, you know this is my favorite mascara. You guys take a screenshot of that because you guys are always asking about my makeup. And I also got the mascara. I'll link these down below because you can also get them from Amazon. I got some pattern edge control. This is my favorite edge control. And then you guys, this is so cute. I got this for Lisi. This is the Disney edition. Hard shell white and iridescent case. So cute. It was only $30. Let's see. Lisi is at a stage where... Kelsey, hold this for mommy, please. Okay. Or just open it. Just open it for oh, me, please. Okay. So I can show. Them. Okay. It didn't come like this, but she's already opened it. Mama, you messed it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it. So you see how it looks like. Anyways, let me just show. It's okay. Okay. So it comes with like little brushes and this makeup down in here. These little Hello Kitty macaroons did not come with it. We got these from their lip balms. They're really cute. But anyway, so it comes with all this little stuff, and it's the Disney edition. So she got that. I'm going to put that back. Here, you can actually take this. And this is your scrub, too, if you want to take that. Cool. All right, you guys. So from Amazon, I got these aesthetically pleasing, I know I'm too much, <laughs> containers. But you can put your body soap in one, shampoo and conditioner. I just thought it looked really nice. And then clearly, you know, most shampoos and conditioner, most of them, not all. They're bigger than these bottles, but if you, whenever you have some left over, you just store it underneath your cabinet or whatever. But I just thought it was aesthetically pleasing because I got these little shelves to put in the shower. And these are like the little pieces it comes with. There's two of them. So two shelves. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys when my husband puts these in the shower. And then this is easily turning into my favorite brand of shampoo, you guys. This is Way. Now, I, I will tell you this. This is not cheap. This is a little bottle right here. This is 10 ounces. It's 30 bucks. Okay, this is the conditioner. And I've never tried this, but this is the hair oil. I'm pretty sure it's amazing. And then these are the chill pills, aka bath bombs. Issues. I know I got issues. Hate you then I miss you again. Selfish, I can be so selfish. Spend more time with me than your friends. Please forgive me. I want my cake and eat it too But a little grace would be enough for me to prove Baby, you the remedy You're my mirror, I can finally see Bringing out the best in me, yeah I don't want no problems But I know I got a lot What did, Shree, what'd you put in here? Black Stella Rosa. She put Black Stella Rosa. Okay. And Black Stella Rosa Brandy. Okay. All right. And where'd you get this one from? I haven't seen this one. At the Walmart? Winery. Or we got the winery? Okay. All right. So we have Brandy and the both celebrate the Rosa brand. Clearly, as you can see, the wine and the brandy. Gianni, say hi. Tasha, say hi. Hola. Say hi. <laughs> Oh, Danny does hair. Oh, Danny does hair. Okay. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Danny got his hot water coming through. <laughs> oh, that's bomb. It's good, huh? Yes. 
This is really good. She ain't gonna get that drunk. She yeah, blew an all dog. You guys, look how Cherie did the table. You this, really? Cherie. You did the table boo? That way. Let's go link her below because this is what she did, okay? We're at Cherie's house, but Danny, right? Danny did this table, but it looks so cute. Throw that pun the trash can. Did you put this on your TikTok? No, I haven't. So cute. Now her son was supposed to, he supposed to put the dry ice in here. He's gonna do that in a little bit. What's your name? Seth. Seth? Hi, Seth. Everybody say hi. We got. We already know Danny. That's you guys' other baby? Yeah. So you have two sons? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys, don't forget to head over to my girls' channels. Check out Yesenia, Tiff, and Cleosha. Don't forget to check out the dossier link. My husband's link is down below. Everything is down below. The Fetch Rewards link is down below if you guys haven't downloaded that app yet. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Baby, I